the search for beauty is timeless. To every girl, to every woman, the way appears to others is of good importance. But the paths leading to beauty are not always easy to find. There are many signposts to follow to real beauty. Do I get to be beautiful? Every young girl can become beautiful in the true meaning of the word. What then is beauty? The dictionary defines it as a quality that inspires admiration, pleasure, approval, a quality and grace that exalts the mind or spirit. In other words, beauty is many things, both looks and personality. Beauty indeed is more than skin deep. The most important part of beauty comes from within, the inner beauty, the healthy mind, being interested in life and in the arts. Caring for others and being involved in the issues of your community and your country. Being creative. Being active. The more you're interested in the world around you, the more interesting you become. And that's an important part of beauty. A healthy mind needs a healthy body. And a healthy body needs a good diet and cleanliness. The type and amount of food you eat usually controls your figure. Also, it affects your skin. Arm yourself with a calorie counter and you may find some surprises. But there's one trick. The models use it. How to lose five pounds in five seconds. Be patient. We'll show you later. Overloading your body with skin poisons can make you break out on your face. You don't have to cut out these things, but cut down. Instead, eat plenty of lean meat, fruit and vegetables, and drink lots of liquids. What you eat affects also your teeth, and good teeth are essential for one of the most effective beauty aids, your smile. Take care of your teeth while you're young. It will save trouble later. Exercise is imperative for your good health and your appearance. Special exercise may help certain trouble spots of your figure. But it's more fun to get your exercise while you play. Also, it's a good way to make friends. Swimming is a good tune-up for the whole body. And a brisk walk a day keeps bulges away. A beautiful complexion is one part makeup, nine parts cleanliness. When you want to remove makeup, use a cleansing cream. Then proceed as usual, cleaning your face with a mild soap. Then with your fingertips, gently work the lather into your skin, giving your pores the deep down cleaning they need. Pores are openings in our skin through which oil or perspiration flow. If an opening becomes clogged up, the oil is trapped and hardens, forming a blackhead or a pimple. The best remedy? Cleanliness. After washing, rinse off all the soap with lukewarm water and pat, not rub your face. Dry with a clean towel. Most teenage girls may not be enough for proper cleansing of the pores. Special cleansing lotions are available for such skins. Don't use alcohol for cleaning. 
it robs your skin of important nutrients. It is very important to avoid excesses in exposure to the elements. Above all, the burning sun. Always protect your skin with a suntan lotion. Too much sunbathing ages your precious skin. Women have used cosmetics as far back as recorded history can take us. So, makeup became a way of life for the modern girl in many parts of the world, and certainly in the United States. Today, the cardinal rule is go easy, or the results can become ludicrous. Take advantage of what's there. Accentuate the good points. Minimize the others. Optical illusions can, in many cases, produce the wanted effects. A dark spot surrounded by a light field will seem smaller than a light spot surrounded by a dark area. For example, a light base will make the eyes look smaller. A dark base will make them appear larger. Foundation is used as a base for the rest of your makeup. It also serves to add or tone down color, is effective in hiding small defects, and acts as a protection against dirt, sun, and wind. A liquid or light cream is recommended, except for Negro or Oriental girls who may prefer a cake makeup because it contains less oil. Work the foundation from the center of the face toward the hairline using gentle upward strokes. Make sure it's blended evenly. Cosmeticians will guide you in your color choice. A foundation with a pink glow will brighten a sallow skin, while a reddish skin can be toned down with a beige foundation. Blot off excess with a tissue. If you have disturbed skin, medicated makeups are available. Dark circles under the eyes are often caused by not enough sleep and lack of iron. To cover them up, use a foundation two or three tones lighter than your base, or a highlighting cream. Blush is applied to give cheeks a quiet glow. A good rule to follow is never let blush come nearer the nose than an imaginary line dropped vertically from the center of the eye. Blush should be applied from the center of the cheek outward and up into the temples. Blushes can also be used for contouring. Example, a tone three shades darker than the foundation can be used to point up a cheekbone or diminish a wide jaw. Powder sets and blends your makeup. The simplest powder to use is a colorless, translucent one. Pat on liberally. A tuft of cotton that can be thrown away is the best powder puff to use. Wait for the powder to set. Then, with another clean powder puff, brush away excess with downward strokes. Eyebrows frame the eye and focus interest on them. They are also important in the shaping of the nose. Pointed eyebrows can make a nose seem longer. To remove straggly brows, lubricate them with Vaseline or baby oil and pluck with tweezers. Never pluck eyebrows further than the line, even with the inside corner of your eye. 
other plucking should be done under the brow and never above it. The color of your eyebrow pencil should be as close as possible to your natural color. Only the darkest brunettes should use a black pencil. The highest point of the arch should be a straight line from the outer edge of the iris. The tapered end of the brow should form a straight line past the outer corner of the eye to the side of the nostril. Blend pencil strokes into your brow with a clean mascara brush. Mascara applied to lashes would complete the well-groomed eye and is sufficient eye makeup for the early teens. However, if you wish to give more attention to the eye, you may use the following procedure. A lid highlight with a creamy pale shade is flattering to most eyes. Never wear bright, obvious evening colors. For contour and emphasis, a taupe or brown shade is placed into the lid crease and just above the lid. For protruding eyes, a dark shadow on the lid will make eyes seem less prominent. For deep-set eyes, a white or very light shade on the lid will make the eyes seem more prominent. The three pairs of eyes are exactly the same distance apart. These eyes seem to be closer. The effect was achieved by concentrating the shadow towards the nose and by bringing the eyebrows closer together. Here, the illusion of widely spaced eyes is created by placing the shadow and brows outward and far apart. A gleam of pearly white or beige on the bone just beneath the brow emphasizes the bone structure. Eyeliner is used to make the lashes seem longer. There should be no hard, obvious line. Apply as close to the lashes as possible, and remember, black can only be worn by girls with very black hair. A flattering shade for blondes or brunettes, as black adds harshness to the eye. Mascara makes lashes look longer and fuller. Incidentally, no amount of eye makeup will help if your eyes are drowsy and lackluster. To be wide-eyed and alert, a full measure of sleep is necessary. The right food definitely relates to the clearness and sparkle of your eyes. Vitamin A and plenty of water are essential for this. After the mascara, separate the lashes with a clean brush. The generally accepted age for wearing lipstick is about 14. A subtle color is the most becoming. To apply lipstick, prop your elbows firmly on the table, supporting the chin with one hand while steadying the action with your drawing hand. Start from the center of the upper lip, drawing a smooth curve to the outer corner. On the lower lip, start at the corner and come to the center with a brush laid flat. Fill in with the brush or the lipstick itself. Blot the excess. For a softer, smoother look, apply a lip gloss. Remember, lips need protection as well as the skin. If you prefer not to wear a lipstick, do wear a lip gloss. Lip shapes can be changed. For example, Thin lips can be corrected by overpainting. Thick lips can be narrowed by covering them with base, then using color only toward the inside of the lips. Too wide lips can be made less obvious by covering the outer corners with base. 
Skin blemishes could not be entirely avoided by most young girls. Makeup can conceal them, but a healthy diet and cleanliness can often prevent them. Most important, never pick or squeeze a blemish. It makes matters worse. Your hair is the crowning glory and deserves the best of care. The hundred strokes a day rule still applies. It makes your hair more attractive. Also, it improves the health and body of your hair and scalp. Seafoods which are rich in iodine add luster to the hair. Choosing a becoming hairstyle for you is the nearest thing to instant beauty. Simple, natural hairdos will never be out of style. Shopping for your wardrobe is lots of fun, but keep in mind some basic rules. Use colors that go well with your skin and hair. And dress for the occasion. Dress for your figure. But there are still many do's and don'ts on the way to become a complete, attractive person. Cultivate a relaxed, pleasant voice. Speak correct English. Don't talk too much or too loud. Sometimes it doesn't go over too well, and for good reasons. And keep in mind, listening is often more appreciated than talking. Smoking? No. Don't talk with your hands. You look much better this way. And all the makeup in the world couldn't make up for this sort of thing. Don't sit in a lazy, clumsy way. Do sit gracefully. Oh yes, you still want to know how to lose five pounds in five seconds? By simply standing correctly, this girl has lost five pounds almost instantly. Don't walk sloppily. The way you walk is a cue to your personality. Walk smartly. If you need glasses, let them help you. The right frames can be very pleasing. Improve your looks as much as you can. This is not conceit, but good common sense. It will help you in your social life and later in getting a job by giving you more self-confidence. Above all, remember, the beauty that shines through you from within, your inner beauty, is your most beautiful, most precious possession. Beauty is more than a pretty face. It's a way of life. Thank <laughs> you.